Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, hi, my name is Sarah and if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. Today's video is going to be one of the most highly requested videos on my channel. So I'm just recording this video to tell you guys how to get a reliable and a trusted vendor from China. If you would like to know how to get a reliable and a trusted vendor from China, then keep watching. One thing I just want to point out before I go ahead in this video is that if you're actually serious about starting your business and starting it properly, you should always be ready to do the work. You don't always want to let somebody do all the work for you, and then you only just get the stuff and start selling. No, you have to be ready to do your research, you have to be ready to actually put in the work in looking for good vendors you don't just want to put your name on anything and another thing is that you have to be patient this process is going to be <laughs> tiring it's going to be hard you might have some problem um, i honestly don't think there's anybody that started a business and everything went smoothly you might have a problem it might be your shipping or it might be your vendor or it might be something that you saw and when it came it's probably not the way you saw it or something that's why i always advise video calling with your vendors and also asking for videos so yeah we're going to get to that so one thing i just want to say is that you have to be patient it might take a year it might take two years it might take six months it might take very long but then if you know what you want with time it's going to get there so i'm going to show you guys how to get a vendor on alibaba on aliexpress all of that i'm only going to be using one or two apps most likely one app and one thing you should know is that all these apps are kind of set up the same way so what i show you on alibaba is probably going to be the same thing on aliexpress on dh gates on all other vendor apps vendor application the differences are very little i'm just going to list some apps that you can use i'm not going to be telling you guys chinese apps just because you might find it difficult to use these apps and you can use these apps with a translator but then honestly i'm not even going to lie it's not going to be as easy for you except you have somebody that knows how to speak chinese if you want to learn how to use those chinese apps i'll suggest you get a translator and then you can always screenshot and translate it and all of that so here if you want to use the chinese apps you use that but then today i'm just going to be teaching um how to use the english apps the apps that are in english or any other language that you can understand but then honestly the chinese apps are not in english you can't find them in english or any other la languages so that's tabao there's no tabao in english i've searched for that on google but then you can't find tabao in english so today i'm going to be teaching you guys how to use alibaba aliexpress dh gates made in china yeah those are the four basic apps that i will suggest you using that i have used let's get my phone now first of all when you're starting a business except you have an audience you don't always want to start with too many items say you want to start hair business now you don't want to just go ahead and order 1000 bundles of hair or 1000 weeks because business is a risk you don't really know if it's going to do well or if it's going to not do well but then honestly if you have the money i'll suggest that you buy more because the more you buy it, the cheaper it's going to be i'll give an example if you're buying 10 bundles of hair you can get them at 50 dollars each if you're buying 100 bundles they can tell you that okay since you're buying more they'll leave it for you at 45 dollars each if you're buying 500 bundles they can say okay we're going to leave it for you at $40. I'm just giving an example. I'm just I just hope you guys understand I'm just giving an example to tell you how it is how it works with this wholesale thing before you order stuff I would always always suggest you to get samples and I'm going to show you guys how to get to the vendor So please be patient. I just want to tell you guys the basic thing before we move to how you get the vendor You always want to ask your vendor. Oh, can you offer me samples? Most vendors will tell you Oh, yes, we're going to offer you free samples But then you're going to pay for the shipping or some people are going to tell you Oh, you're going to pay for your samples then if you finally decide that you're going to come and shop with us in bulk we're going to give you back the money for um your samples so let's say you bought you bought two bundles at 50 dollars each that's 100 dollars and then you finally decide to come and buy in bulk that 100 dollars they're going to give it back to you since you finally decided to come back to them i'm going to say oh we're just going to give you the two bundles for free you just pay for the shipping so yeah that's how it works it's not everybody but then some people some people are going to tell you to pay for the um samples and even when you come back to them to order <laughs> they're not going to give you back your money and it is not free it just depends on who you get and how it works yeah this is what alibaba looks like you can download the application on your phone or you could use um, alibaba.com like just on 
you can just go on the website on the internet but then i'll honestly suggest that you download the application of course you need to have an account you want to put the location of where whatever country it is that you are just so that you can get the equivalent because if i put nigeria it's going to change the prices to nigerian price for me just the approximate prices when you and open the alibaba application this is what it looks like what your home pay is going to look like depends on the things that you have ordered or the things that you usually search for on the application so you can see my home page these are most of the items i <laughs> have ordered from this application or i have looked for there are two ways you can search on alibaba you can search by using picture and you can also search by just typing so first of all i'm going to show you guys how to search using pictures so let's say i want to search for mm, what do i have here okay let's say i want to search for this um so it's, it's showing me different people that supply this these are just lip gloss there's wig glue <laughs> it just depends honestly so let's say i just i want to search for lace glue let's say i have my hair company and i want to start making my hair glue so i'm just going to search and then this is what i find so that's one way you can search you can use pictures let's say you want to start selling dresses or what you can use the picture of the dress to search for a seller or anything like that the next way you can search that i'm going to show you guys is by actually typing what you're looking for so today we're just going to be using press on nails let's say i'm looking to start selling press on nails i'm just going to search press press on nails here so when you search you see different types always look out, look out for a vendor that has videos you can see that there are 4579 results so you know that you have you actually have a whole lot of people to pick from there are so many options can you see how look at this one Ooh, me that loves nails i might just start this thing honestly oh my god these ones are so beautiful anyway so you can see that there are so many options and they are all so beautiful you might find one vendor two times three times four times it just depends on how long they have been here and i always like to go for somebody you can just at the side here you can see how long they've been on this app how long they've been selling on this app so i always like to go for somebody that has been selling for <laughs> maybe over a year that's just one thing i check for over a year so i'm going to pick this vendor and we're just going to search if you go down there are reviews so you can see what other people that have ordered are saying about this vendor that's one thing i'll say you should do not do not except you want to take a risk but then i'll honestly advise you not to order from somebody that doesn't have reviews yeah so i always like to order from somebody that has reviews that people have bought from them and then they're coming to say oh um this was good this was not good blah 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 and how their experience was probably have pictures to show so yeah that's one way you can get a reliable and trusted vendor so i'm just going to check if this one has reviews wow your personal nails are actually really beautiful but then you never know there are people that can just go to pinterest and pick pictures and use it as what they used to sell so let me see so this vendor even though their pictures look beautiful and everything they don't have reviews so we're skipping this one so you can see this one we're going to scroll down and yes they have reviews so we're going to go to the reviews and somebody is saying i love the nails and the custom boxes shipping only took a week but this is to us so you always see the country that this person is talking from so this is to us person is saying it only took a week to get to them shipping was fast product is good so you know that this is a good vendor and <laughs> this is a vendor that you should obviously want to consider you can just add this to your favorites there's a heart shape up so you can just add this this to your favorite and then you go ahead and check for other vendors let's see this one um are there reviews no reviews we skip this one okay this one has reviews somebody is saying these nails were excellent nail quality is very good if not better than nails pur purchased at blah 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 store so yeah we know that this one is also good we can also add them to our favorites now that you've seen different options you actually want to go take your time look at the pictures you can check for 100 vendors and then you can bring it down to maybe 20 or maybe 10 and then you message them and then you ask for pictures ask for more detailed videos ask for a video of their factory 
or wherever they produce the nails if it's at home or whatever always ask for videos like that ask for oh you want to see their factory how they are producing blah 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 just so that you know that these people is are legit <laughs> you can send an inquiry and just ask them oh i want to order 1000 that's if you're satisfied if not you go to so now i like this vendor and i want to know more about it so i'm going to chat now and then i'll say hello i'd like to okay this is for if you want to ask for samples or something so i'd like to order samples you guys i don't want this thing i'm just doing it for this video so when this vendor should reply i'm probably going to ignore how or something i want to order samples how much will they cost So yeah, we just, we're just going to wait for the reply. And then if you see here, they're going to show you um, what time it is. Let me see. Oh, I don't know why it's not showing now, but then normally it shows what time it is in China. One thing is that you guys have to be patient with these vendors because there are millions of people that are on Alibaba searching for vendors just like you are. There are people from different countries that are also searching for probably for the same thing that you're looking for. So there are thousands of people that are also messaging these vendors. So you want to be patient. Sometimes when they have too many people that they're talking to, they might refer you to their colleague and say, oh, I'm, I'm not available right now. So please speak to this person. They're probably working in the same place, but then they probably just have so many people to talk to. But then most of the time they reply very fast or at least for me, my vendors reply quite fast. At least when they are awake. In Nigerian time, I would say if you want to talk to these vendors effectively, you have to be awake between 1 a.m. and 10 a.m. Yeah. But then if you want fast reply between 1 a.m. and 5 a.m., that's when they are the most active. That's when they're actually up and working in China. Sometimes I notice that when they send videos and pictures here on Alibaba, the pictures are not so clear. So I some, most times I always tell my vendors, oh, let's go to WhatsApp. Texting is faster there and everything goes faster and better there. Because sometimes you can get a notification on Alibaba and you wouldn't even know when you're out of the app. So you constantly have to be going back to the app to check if you have a message from your vendor. I suggest that you ask whatever questions you have to ask. Ask as much because you're giving them your money, your hard-earned money. You're giving them your money to in exchange for products so you don't want any kind of products ask are they cruelty free are they vegan send me the ingredients in them i want to know you you go and do your research send me videos of your factory send me videos of how you guys make your product i want to video call you i want to mm, ask them as many questions as you want to ask because you are giving these people your money so one thing that is a red flag from a vendor is once a vendor is telling you oh let's leave alibaba let's leave alibaba let's go to whatsapp let's go to wechat you know that this vendor is most likely not legit always want to be the one to ask them to go to another app because alibaba monitors your chat and everything just in case you have any problem just in case you have any problem with your order or payment or something always monitor the text that's why sometimes if you type words like whatsapp wechat or any other application platform you would always notice that alibaba will tell you that oh they advise you to stay on the application and have all conversations here just so you have receipts because you can't delete anything or it's like using an it's like using email using alibaba is like using email too communicate with your vendors you know that if you have any problem you can report to alibaba and they will look into that if you trust your vendor enough of course you can go to another application so another question that i get the most is how much do i need to start my hair business how much do i need to start my eyelash business how much do i need to start a business you guys i honestly cannot tell you Oh, you need so 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 amount you need five hundred dollars you need one thousand dollars to start your business i can't be the one to tell you depends on your budget first of all how much do you have to spend how much are you willing to put into this business there are different things that can determine how much you start your business with the first thing is how many do you want to start with how much do you want to start with do you want to start with products for a hundred people do you want to start with products for one thousand people how many people are you targeting i probably want to start with five people but then you want to start with 1,000 people so of course my budget is going to be lower than your own budget how many items you want to start with is going to affect how much and then the quality of items you want to start with will also affect I might want very cheap and just anyhow stuff but then you might want high quality stuff and things that are very very good best standard best everything for example i'll give you lashes full mink lashes and mink lashes are two different prices they are synthetic lashes they are mink lashes they are full mink lashes um, synthetic lashes are cheap cheap 
four mink lashes are cheap but mink lashes are not cheap so um, we, I might want to start with mink lashes, you might want to start with full mink lashes and so our budget is different. Another thing that affects is how much you have to spend. You might not have, I might have only 100,000 to start my business but then you might have 500,000. It depends on how much you're willing to put into that business. You know that you can't just ask somebody straight up how much can I start my business with. There are many things you have to consider before you know how much that. And also talking to your vendors, talking to your vendors, asking them how much is this, how much is this going to cost, how much is that going Going to cost weight of your products that's going to affect your shipping rate the next thing is payments how you pay your vendors there are different ways you can pay your vendors via alibaba that's the app itself and that's just like normal shopping online you add your credit card details and then your vendor will make an order for you like they'll create your order and then they'll send you the link so you just click on that and then you proceed to payments you just put your card details and you confirm do all of that and then your payment is made so that's one way which is one of the easiest ways another way is paying through paypal paypal doesn't work in nigeria but then like this there are different ways you can twist it to work that's paying in dollars or in pounds so you can use paypal to pay your vendor you can use western union or you go to the bank and direct wire transfer you want to go to the bank you go and tell them you're making an international transaction tell you how to do it and everything you need to know about that and the last way is by wechat alipay and all those chinese apps i personally use wechat alipay and most of all paypal as what I used to pay my vendor so it just depends on you and what way is convenient for you if you say you're going to use WeChat you need to have a Chinese bank card <laughs> for you to be able to pay through WeChat and for you to have a Chinese bank card you need a Chinese visa so yeah that's just a very long process so if you have a Chinese visa you might as well just go to China and start your business <laughs> yes the next thing is shipping how do i ship my stuff from china to ghana from china to nigeria from china to south africa or wherever you are the first way is by directly shipping from your vendor to you vendors will most likely use dhl fedex or any of those couriers which are quite expensive okay if you're just ordering hair only hair and nothing else for example i would say it's okay for you to use just your vendor directly to ship to the country you are by cargo or by fast shipping but then if you're going to be ordering different stuff let's say you're going to be ordering hair from three different vendors let's say you have one vendor that you really like their straight hair you have another vendor that you really like their curly hair you like you have another vendor that you really like their body wave hair so you're not ordering for one person we're going to assume that shipping is 90 dollars just standard i'm just this is just an example if you tell all these vendors to send it's going to be 90 dollars 90 dollars 90 dollars so you're paying everybody 90 dollars for shipping which is way more than if you use a shipping agent i'll tell you how using a shipping agent works with a shipping agent you can just tell all those vendors to send it to him and your shipping agent is also going to be in china so all of them are going to send the products down to your shipping agent and then your shipping agent is going to send it to you at once so instead of spending 90 90 90 dollars all of them will probably send it for five five dollars to your shipping agent like that's how much they'll charge you to send it to your shipping agent which is also with them in china and then your shipping agent will send it to you for 90 dollars if honestly just saved yourself of over 150 dollars how do you get a shipping agent you can search on alibaba as well you can search you can literally search for shipping agents to lagos nigeria shipping agents to abuja nigeria it's the only places you can get a shipping agent to i think just lagos and kano honestly because those, those are like the main places if you're living in somewhere like taraba or kaduna even now i would really suggest you start searching for a shipping agent that's shipping to that place because you mo most likely not get just focus on getting your stuff into to nigeria and once they get into nigeria except your things are so many it's never going to be more than maybe 10k to send it from lagos or kano down to whatever state you are it's probably going to take like two days to get to you so yeah i send my stuff to my shipping agent i literally tell him to open the boxes because your stuff are going to come in boxes so i tell him to open the boxes and then just put everything in one box because that will save you like five kg because those boxes you're seeing and you think they're not heavy once you add all these small small boxes together like it's going to just give you kg and then that's spending more money on shipping because they charge you according to your weight and then they also charge you customs fee clearance fee yeah which is really small i think customs fee is like 300 naira per kg if you have 10 kg you're spending like 3000 naira for customs and clearance fee so yeah 
that's basically all i don't know i really hope i mentioned everything i have my book here with me and i just mentioned the main points and yeah i really hope i helped somebody if you have any questions please leave, it, leave a comment in the comment section below i will respond to everybody other people can see in case anybody has the same question as you let them just comment below so that they can see the questions and probably get an answer from that so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it and um, if you stick around till the end of this video, thank you so much. You're a real one. So if you want to start your lash business or anything that has to do with lashes and boxes and lip glosses, and I have tried a lot of vendors from for that. We need to sell the vendor in case you still want to buy a vendor. And we need to sell a vendor sell the vendors that I have used and I have tried and I've tested. I'll literally give you all the vendors. So yeah. I'll tell you this one is expensive, this one is cheaper, but then this one is blah blah blah, blah. yes. Right, lip gloss, lashes, what else have I tried? Yeah, let's just do that for now. And clothing vendor too, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Yeah.